Hi folks, how are you doing? We just off an hour jollies again. Best watch where I'm going though. Uh, where are we going? We're going to... Fersk. Fersk, that's it. Uh, yeah, just for three days. I'm going to stop in a field with a uh, toilet and a water pipe. Somewhere to empty your poo. <laughs> and it's a tenner a night, so... It can't be bad, can it? And it's only about uh, a mile away from Fersk itself, which is a brilliant little town, village, whatever it is, town, I think. So here we go, we're on our way. We'll be there in an hour. See you in a bit. We got to Clan and Grange campsite quick time, and as you can see, there's only one other van here to bother us. This is the little toilet block that we get to use, and it's, it's only a tenner a night, so you can't complain. Well, we're here in Fersk in the field, and we're in our brand new awning. Well, we tried it once for a few minutes, but this is the first time we've put it up properly. And as you can see, there's uh, plenty of room in here, and it did only take a matter of minutes once we'd worked out what we were doing. And we're getting our first test to see how it is in the rain, because it's absolutely sing down. Look, not very good. Anyway, we have all the uh, home comforts here. No electricity, apart from our 12 volt, of course. But uh, I'm watching the Grand Prix. Well, watching the Grand Prix qualifying on the iPad, so uh, I'm off back in to watch that. Brenda's just getting some lippy on because we're going to go out in a bit. Well, when it stops raining after the Grand Prix. To go and race on a qualifying. Oh, it's amazing. I haven't been there since 99. Brenda's in the background tidying up because she knows it's going to be on video, but we normally tidy. Anyway, it's uh, only the second time we've been away without electricity for about three days. So we want to see how it goes. We'll be running the telly, we'll be charging the iPads and the iPhones and things. So just off the uh, leisure battery, which I completely charged up before we uh, came away. Does it stop raining? It was really horrendous raining earlier, but uh, I thought I was recording it, but I wasn't. But I did take a picture by accident. You enjoy the rain, don't you, Brenda? I like the sound of the rain. <laughs> mm. So, we'll see how it goes. Obviously, uh, because we're on our own, we're using the uh, TV and charging things a lot more than we did last time. Oh, it looks like I've lost quality on the iPad. Um, that'd be the my fi it'd be the rain, probably, if I still on that. So we'll probably be using the electrics a lot more because we're on our own and we don't like talking to each other, do we, Ben? We don't like talking to people. It's silly. No, to each other. Oh, no, we don't like talking to each other. No. <laughs> I told you it was rain. Can you hear me? You can't hear me because of the rain. You can. <laughs> Not so close. She doesn't like getting her braces in. <laughs> That'd be lovely this time next year. <laughs> well, we can't stop in the caravan all day, so we've decided to have a little walk out in the rain. It's not too bad. It's not windy. So we, uh, we're going to go and try a pub that we haven't been to before. It's in uh, Sowerby, and it's, what was it called? The uh, Royal Crown? Uh, Right. The crown and anchor. No. Crown and anchor. Could be the crown and anchor. Yeah. Unusual name, but we'll uh, we'll see. Could be alright. Might be cack. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, it said it was going to stop raining, but it quite clearly hasn't. And uh, the backs of my legs are soaking. Where's she gone? There she is. <laughs> she won't walk with me. She doesn't want to get wet by the cars going past. And there's one. Hopefully we don't get wet. Oh, that's good. So here we are at this lovely little pub. Well, it looks lovely from the uh, outside. 
see if we've got a defib on the wall. Hopefully it doesn't come in handy for me. <laughs> and it was called the oh, back the front for the crowned and banker. Let's give it a go. Cheers guys. Five pounds sixty for a pint and a half. in your drunken bum. <laughs> it's dark. Well we finally made it home. It's about 15 miles we've walked tonight. Oh, that's what it feels like. And we went into um, Aldi to try and get some chilies but they didn't have any. Well anyway we're going to make this uh, delicious toasty thing. We'll see how it goes. How's it going, Bren? Mm. A bit chagrin, do you think? No, it's fine. Where's me toasty? Come on, Bren, where's me toasty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Looks good. The chili's on. I think the ball with the race it does. Mm. Steve Bell loves it when we go mm, just like John and Mandy. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Well, it's breakfast time after a day on the booze yesterday in Thursk, and it's uh, pretty yummy. It does look a bit of a mess, but it's pretty yummy. I've made too much <laughs> but to be fair I won't be eating anything else until tea time so you know million calories I'll go and walk it off it'll be fine Well, that's the end of our little jaunt away for three nights. We didn't really do much. Basically just had one day in Thirsk and just chilled about. So it's not much video really. Uh, we're all packed away and ready to go. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.